In the past few years, nearly 100,000 Burmese pythons have been legally imported into the United States. Snake breeders here raise thousands more. Trendy, fashionable, hip. There are hundreds of thousands of pet pythons in the hands of responsible pet owners across the country. But cohabitating with large exotic reptiles has its risks. 2004. Phil Cyrus has a new pet. I got her, she was probably about four foot. All the Cyruses enjoy the new member of the family, especially nine-year-old Catherine. I'm never really afraid of anything. She didn't really have a name before, so we named her Victoria. I thought of her as a pet. I mean, I liked her more than a dog. She was, you know, in a weird way, my girlfriend. <laughs> just, she did somebody, you know, around the house. Just pet, quiet, I mean, very clean. Victoria's growing up fast. Fueled by her ceaseless appetite, in just four years, she's almost quadrupled in size. Yet huge as she's become, Victoria is still part of the family, a big part. All of that is about to change. August 30th, 2008. I was sleeping and I felt, you know, like something bit me. She's really strong and every time you move, she tightens up more. I could hear popping because every time I'd move, she would just get tighter and move up towards my chest. She squeezed onto my ribs. Victoria is set to feed and Catherine is rapidly becoming her next meal. You cannot even imagine how strong these snakes are. The strength is there, that snake is ready to eat, and it's, it's eating time. I'm running back down the hall into the kitchen, grabbed a butcher knife. The only way to get the python to let up is complete decapitation. I like the snake. <laughs> I didn't hesitate when it came to my daughter. I mean, I didn't even think about it. I think about if my dad wasn't there, where would I be? And when I do tell the story, some people don't even believe me. But I have scars, so. Do you think scars where they pulled the teeth out of my leg? Catherine is lucky, but her experience follows an unfortunate pattern. 